Hey folks, welcome to InTheMoneyStocks.com's live trading action video. My name is Gareth Soloway, Chief Market Strategist here. Today's date is Monday, August 22, 2016. What you can see here is that the markets are very range-bound today, and it's very much a dual personality market. What I mean by that is, take a look at the markets today on an intraday basis. This is the Spiders SPY tracking ETF for the S&P 500. We opened lower, had a sell-off into this line. We then popped dramatically higher into the top line. We then collapsed within a couple candles right back to the lows. Same thing, huge green candle reverses to the upside. We then did the same thing to the downside. I mean, this is just a market that is popping and dropping every 30 minutes or so. Uh, with no rhyme or reason behind it. Uh, the only thing I can get is that you have computerized programs that are scheduled at specific times to buy or sell the market. I mean, that's the only thing that makes sense of why we're just whipping up and down in this tight range today. And the range is, as you can see, 218.80 by 217.83. So it's a 97 cent range on the SPY, but it just goes up and down and up and down. Eventually, you would assume the market's going to break out or break down, but again, you have to look and see which way it goes based on the triangular pattern here, and that's keeping this market in check for now, but eventually, it's going to go one way or the other. It's either going to break out and then make a nice move up, or it's going to break to the downside, and again, you can see we're slowly trailing up to the upside to that resistance trend line there, but again, who's to say we're not going to see a hard sell again on one of these candles? Um, by looking at the big candles up and down, you would assume there was relatively sizable volume, but that is not the case. Um, not the case at all. Uh, in fact, 37 million in here traded at about 2 p.m. with just two hours left. So we're on pace maybe 55 million today on the SPY. Very very light. So again, that's really all you got to say. That's all you can say about the markets is that. Um, you're flat on the day. Spider's literally down three to four cents right now, and we're just chopping. You got a schizophrenic, uh, you know, ups and down market, uh, back and forth, you know, flipping to the upside, flipping to the downside, and that's all we got there. A couple charts that I wanted to bring your attention to: Apple. Um, Apple came down today, and it is a weaker stock. So this is a nice little sell on Apple. Here's your daily chart. I alerted to the sell-off, and actually in the research center we shorted this, guys. See this gap fill right here in this Pierce? We shorted right there at a Pierce of $110. So we're already up almost $2 on this trade on Apple, which is a beautiful little trade. Uh, I do think it continues lower, but um, again, look at the intraday. Look at where it bounced today. Apple very weak today on an intraday basis. If we zoom out here, um, you can clearly see. See these support pivots? One, two, three, and four. Put a trend line right through there, and you can see today's low kisses that level before bouncing off of it. So just a little side note there. That's exactly why we bounced there. Major support. If that breaks, if that level breaks... You're going all the way down here, pivot high right here, and you got a little bit of a gap fill. I know it's hard to see, but let me zoom out again. I can't, I can't see it when I zoom in. But right there, there's a little bit of a gap fill, and that secondary target, again, if that's only if we break that first trend line, is 105.90, so basically a 106 pierce. Um, another chart that I was looking at was the chart of, let's take Amazon, AMZN. Uh, Amazon's hanging in there today. You can see up about a dollar. But the most important thing on the daily Amazon chart to me is that we are below the 20 moving average. As long as you stay below the 20 MA, I believe it is a risk that the Amazon chart uh, could see significant sell side action. Um, for instance, if you take the low here in early 2016, in early February, uh, we were trading at $475. The stock topped out literally in six months at 775 I mean, think about that, 475 to 775 on a mega cap like Amazon. It's a tremendous move. But more importantly, look at this trend line, okay? This is what's getting me on my attention as well. Not only the break of the 20, but look, if you take the low, connect it to this low, it connects perfectly right here right here, right here, and right here, and look at we're trading below that. So to me, that's, it's, listen, I mean, ultimately you need the markets to start to sell, but when the markets sell, considering we've broken that line, there's a lot of downside to this chart. In fact, I wouldn't even be surprised. I mean, you obviously have support at the 200 down here, but it wouldn't shock me if you fill this gap down to about $600 on 
the Amazon chart. Now, again, it's all going to be contingent on seeing this market sell off. But isn't that amazing that look at how many times you hit this trend line and we're now below that line, which tells me, again, Amazon is vulnerable, very vulnerable. Uh, last chart I want to go over is U United Technologies. Uh, take a look at this. If we go to the weekly chart on UTX, uh, you can see the stocks performed very well of late, obviously, just like every other stock since the beginning of the year. Uh, from from uh, late Feb January, early February, it was an $84 stock. Obviously, it's at 100 and eight almost 109 right now but what was catching my eye on this chart let me just see if i can remember the trend line i was looking at here uh yeah like, kind of like right in here look at that so you take this point here you connect it through this little area this point this low and it goes right literally through this pivot and right to here. So you're right into resistance right on this area. And again, I, d I believe that that's a, a level that based on con considering every time you hit this level, if you're above it, you bounce. If you're below it as you were here and you hit it, you pull back. I got to believe that you're going to see a pullback on this. So I'm looking for a pullback on United Technologies as well on the chart. All right, so just some insight into what I'm looking at on the charts. Um, again, crazy market. If we go back to the spiders, I mean, it is just wild in terms of the intraday action here, guys. Um, again, you know, you're seeing these weird whips to the upside and then collapses and then whips to the upside and then collapses and then whips to the upside. Uh, it is really remarkable to watch this, tra this stock market trade, especially in such a tight range. It's so interesting because net-net, during the day, nothing's going on. But if you look at an intraday basis, these weird pops and drops are just continuing um, to happen every 30 minutes or so. I mean, it literally is 30 to 40 minutes between everyone. You know, here you dropped, and then two, four, five candles. That's about 50 minutes, and then boom, pop. And then two, four, five candles, and then a drop. Actually, yeah, it looks like it's almost identical. Uh, at least the first few today were 50 minutes, two, four, five candles in between every move. Crazy. Really weird market. All right, anyways, guys, bottom line is there's still charts to take trades on. There's great action out there if you know where to look. Come join us at InTheMoneyStocks.com.